so hello, this is Cassidy Gard with CGTV. I would like to hear from you today with the debate, what do you feel like the audience got out of it? Well, I mean, I hope that the audience got some, some clear distinctions between left and right. I mean, Sally's view of the universe in which America is a racist, sexist, bigot, homophobe country and that the main goal of government is to bring us all together. And that's sort of the view of the left. My view is that individual liberty is what brings us all together and we're not racist, we're not sexist, we're not bigot, we're not homophobe. We're a nation of individual rights. You know, as I say, I think that the left is all about the idea that, that freedom is an, is an obstacle to government action and the right is about the idea that, that government action is an obstacle to freedom generally. What do you think about media and the kind of firestorm that can happen when something semi-controversial happens and you're on the side of it trending in Google News and your name's being quoted? What does that feel like? Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking. I mean, yeah, obviously, if you're, if you're a person with any sort of intellectual honesty, you have to understand that, you know, you, your first... Your first attempt should be to get everything right. Mm -hmm. And so if something starts trending, you immediately say, okay, well, I, I think I got it right, but you know, maybe I didn't, I'll go back and check. But yeah, I mean, I think that it's nerve wracking. It's cool to be part of the debate that way, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that um, you know, the, the most important thing to me is that what I'm saying is correct, whether, it's, whether it blows up or whether it doesn't. And very last question before I let you go. I would just love to know, overall prediction, when you really go in your gut and you look at what's going to happen in November, what do you see? Are you leaning towards any idea of what's going to happen? So, I mean, I think that there's the data-driven side of me and then there's the hard-driven side of me. So the data-driven side of me says that, the, that Trump will get killed. I mean, because the data suggests that he's going to get killed. I mean, it's very difficult uphill road for any Republican and Trump is the most unpopular candidate in American history. Uh, on the, the narrative side of me says that hey, Anton Chekhov, the playwright, he, he once said that, that plays are a good play, there's a gun over the mantelpiece, and you don't put the gun over the mantelpiece unless it gets used in the second act. And there's the narrative side of me that says that Trump is the gun over the mantelpiece, and the American people like a small child cannot keep their hands off of it, and just they can't wait to see what happens next. It's too good a show. Right, and if you had to choose the best of the worst, which one? I mean, the best of the worst short term is Trump. The best of the worst long term, I think, is Hillary, because I think that what, I think that Trump is going to absolutely carve the heart out of the conservative movement and turn into a European far-right populist movement, which I don't approve of. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I know that you're very in demand. Lots of interviews today. So thank you for yeah, making so the much. time I to be on. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.